It's back to school time and an Olympic gold medalist from the Bay Area is helping children open the door to opportunity. Christy Yamaguchi joins us now to talk about her Always Dream Foundation. Christy is also a Jefferson Award winner. Christy, so glad to have you with us. Great to be with you as well. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. First, tell us about your foundation. Well, it's called Always Dream, and we focus on early childhood literacy, and we have reading programs um, that are focused on uh, uh, underserved families and children kindergarten age. And what we do is provide access to high-quality books in the home and give the families and the parents uh, family engagement support so they can better uh, support their child and their learning and really help develop that literacy routine of sitting down hopefully 10 to 15 minutes a day with their child to really just create that strong foundation um, of the love of books and the love of reading. And that foundation, of course, very important. What inspired you to launch your nonprofit? Well, Always Dream is actually uh, 24 years old. Uh, and, you know, after the Olympics, I really wanted to do something uh, to give back. And I've always loved working with children and wanted to help support them to reach their um, hopes and dreams, much like I had the support of so many people uh, for me to meet, reach my dreams. And uh, when I became a mom back in, um, well, I became a mom in 2003, but when they, back in 2011, uh, we were doing so much reading with them and they were at that learn to read age. And I realized how important that um, literacy is in, in developing their uh, success for school and then ultimately life. So realizing that so many kids out there don't have access to high quality books, um, I really wanted to try to provide that with them. And you mentioned 2011, things very much different now. Fast forward and this school year is unlike any other. What do you want parents to know about the importance of reading? Well, I think everyone has had to make huge adjustments on the school year. Uh, parents becoming uh, more involved and in not only are the kids seeing their teachers online uh, during the school, school day, but parents are having to assist. And sometimes it's a little overwhelming, but uh, if there's one priority, I think, to really put up there when you can kind of step away um, <clears throat> from the computer in the classroom is to read to your child, especially that preschool, kindergarten age, um, really 10 to 20 minutes a day and it's really going to make a huge difference. The more you read to your, your young child, the better readers they become. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, it's it, the greatest gift that you can really give them. And really sharing that connection time is going to be special for them, too. And it can be a fun gift, too. Christy Yamaguchi, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you.